Hey everybody, what's up? Um, just a quick little update video um, from my last video that I did. I don't know if it was necessary or a good thing for, um, for me to tell of the situation between me and a newfound friend of mine uh, and ex expose it here on YouTube even though I didn't name any names. But since I um, put that one out, just wanted to do an update and I was, I'm going to figure it would be a final video concerning the situation. Well, I uh, checked with him a couple days ago, and he and his family are doing good. I uh, I figured he and his family would be fine. The biggest issue was with his cats, which I can totally relate. You know, he, he loves his cats and didn't want to have to give up his cats, and I don't blame him. I love my cat also, so I'm glad I was able to help out with that, as well as him having uh, other friends who were able to help out in the process as well. And so, I mean, I'm glad that things are good for him and his family, but not just for him, but also for him in the sense of his cats, and even for his cats. And if not for the advice of another brother here on YouTube, um, in my last video, I probably wouldn't have been as selfless about the situation last time I saw my friend. I probably would have been more cynical, more judgmental, more nagging over the situation which nagging is never a good thing for one thing and I'm glad I gave the guy the benefit of the doubt and followed the advice of this other Christian person because things probably wouldn't have worked out the way that they did if I wouldn't have offered myself as an act of love and offered help to this friend of mine um, and everything fell into place perfectly that day with him meeting up with an old friend of his right at perfect timing of whom he hadn't seen in about two years and you know that was a wonderful encounter between the two of them and from what I could tell his friend was a good guy and I'm guessing was also able to help him out with his cats or however else and hey you know I, I, I want to be a true friend I mean by the grace of God but I want to be a true friend as well I don't want to be naive anymore or be played or used or manipulated by people and that's one thing but sometimes you got to give somebody the benefit of the doubt and and sometimes if you have if you have too much of a trust issue you just you gotta know how to handle that and that's that's one of the things to where I'm gonna continue to seek God on in terms of just having the right balance of it all um, but hey uh, and he, my friend he starts his new job uh, coming the 15th and he got a good job that I we both figured that he would do well at so I'm, I'm happy for that and um, just to try to wrap through this video, uh, thank you KL, or otherwise known as Bible Biz TV, forgive me if I got it wrong, for your advice in offering myself as an act of love. And thank you also to you, uh, Brother Wayne Crook, for your advice and your your support um, for me as well. You, you've been with there for me thick and thin here on YouTube. And thank you both of you guys. You guys are great men with good hearts, better than I have. And thank you also to you, uh, Brother Troy. Um, Hey, since people are making bad videos about you, well, I shouldn't say people, but uh, as in plural, but I'm going to make a good video about you. Thank you. Thank you guys for your, your support. Thank you for all that you who have prayed over me and, or just over the situation. And even thank you to all of you who have viewed, um, viewed my video. And so this will be my final update video. Concerning the circumstances well that's one thing though I mean circumstances can change and I just got to realize I mean hey it's I need to seek God's wisdom and discernment in the matter but I also in everything I do do it out of love um, let God work through me on that and also not judge things by circumstance which brings me to the lesson that I've been reminded of or maybe have gotten further insight on which is one of the bigger reasons or the main whatever reason it is one of the reasons at least if not the reason why I'm re making an update video is uh, being reminded of walk by faith and not by sight and what that means is don't look at your circumstances don't judge things by your circumstances I mean um, for those of us who have put our faith and trust in Jesus um, it's it's ultimately um, he's he's got things in control. Let's let's trust him in the matter, and let's let's not judge it by our circumstances, but rather 
judge it by or trust in God's goodness and just keep our faith and trust where it needs to be um, on God. And um, so that's that's not going to be the finale part. Um, that's the grand part, which is walk uh, walk by faith and not by sight. But um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm going to try to. I said I'm going to try to get through this quicker so that more of the video shows up so it doesn't have to blur for it to process. So um, I have given you the grand part. Um, I'm going to give you the finale part because it's not the grand finale because um, the grand is the walking walk by faith. But here is the finale. I hope you enjoy. Oh. Maybe that's not going to work out as well as I thought, but I hope you like that mountain view. My other video I was going to display had javelinas in it, a shot of javelinas. Uh, it's an animal out here in southern Arizona and wherever else they show up out here in the desert climate. Well, I redid this video because I wanted it to be less about me and more about what it needed to be about. But thank you and peace out. God bless.